All right, YouTube, in the house. We're in a Ford uh, Fusion 2012. I am definitely not a mechanic, but all the things say that when you have, you know, uh, cold on one side and hot on the other, it's an actuator. And I'm actually telling you, it actually is. But the one thing they don't freaking tell you is the recalibration some of them do which is how I figured it out right but I'm gonna actually just put this under the Ford Fusion 2012 so this is the actual part that we ripped out okay let me show you that right there this is an AC Delco because you can't kind of tell by the actual barcode or whatever uh, the one we did is on the passenger side so let me zoom around here all right. All right. So you just take the glove box out like so. Let me just kind of. You got to take this little tab off here. I'm not gonna do it, but I'll just show you it in the back here. Let me just show you. So you just need to take the two screws off. There's one. There's one right here. Right. Oh yeah. That's. Man, that's really hard to, you'll see it. There's one, there's one right there, and there's one right there. Actually, we kind of broke it off and did some gluing afterward, but you know, it's on there good now. You know, a little monkey glue. But, and don't forget to change your cabin air filter too, because that's back there too. But here, now to the good part, right? So now we got 60 degrees on both sides, but when I put that part in, it still didn't work okay FYI it still didn't work okay so what you got to do is you got to go in your owner's manual and find the fuse all right so find your fuse I'm not gonna rip the stupid thing out again but uh, you gotta rip out the fuse it's uh, number 15 okay for the climate control it's climate control on the ford fusions so uh, so rip that out but before you do set this climate control to like 60 turn off the engine right so basically get it started you know put it at 60 turn off the engine okay then rip out the fuse and just let it sit there and then when you put the fuse back in, it will go to 75. And when it goes to 75, it resets the entire system. And that's all you gotta do. And then it should be uh, cool on both sides again. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, again, I'm not a mechanic, but this worked for me. So I just figured I'd post it. All right, later.